Well, I went to Sierra Leone in, in 1967. <clears throat> um, now, if you're doing the math, um, I have to tell you, I was only seven years old. <laughs> uh, I went to teach high school. I, was, um, I, I, I went with the Canadian Peace Corps, CUSO. And by chance, I was posted to the Diamond area, and it was uh, <clears throat> like the Wild West. It was like the Klondike. <clears throat> it was like the California Gold Rush. Officially, there were only two or 3,000 people in the town. Uh, estimates were there were something like 20,000 in actual fact. All of, them, all, of the, all, of, all of the extras were there illegally, and they were all there for diamonds. There were 2,000 Lebanese living in the town. <clears throat> Why would you have 2,000 Lebanese living in a small upcountry town in Sierra Leone if it wasn't for something other than uh, selling, selling shirts, which is what some of them purported to be doing? I, uh, I was only there for a year. I didn't think I'd come back to Diamonds. But when the war in Sierra Leone started to get very bad in the mid-90s, people like me <clears throat> who'd had some experience there, some Sierra Leonean Canadians, we got together to talk about it and to talk about why this thing was going on. Why was it getting so bad? If you think about the war in Sierra Leone, it lasted as long as World War I and World War II combined. Mm -hmm. It was a very brutal war. Uh, the official estimates place the death toll at 75,000. If, it if it's that low, I'd be surprised. You can't have a war going on for 10 years and have, have, uh, have, have it that way. <clears throat> Somebody, somebody in our group said, well, you know, it's about the diamonds, and it hadn't occurred to me. I don't know why, but it was just like a light going on. Obviously, diamonds were what were paying for this. And as I, I got involved in it uh, more deeply through a, an organization called Partnership Africa Canada, we discovered that it wasn't, the problem was not unique to Sierra Leone. It was going on in Angola and it was going on in the Congo, it was lapping over into Guinea and uh, Liberia, it was uh, lapping over the borders of DRC and Angola, it was really, really a, a very large phenomenon.